Hello everybody, welcome back for some more Tekken 3. Is June even in this game? She showed up in the thing there, but I don't think she is. Uh, Character-wise today, either Kuma or Julia. I'm kind of feeling more toward... Now I'm feeling toward Jack, though. Okay, fine, we'll do Julia, I guess. So this is the first appearance of Julia, as far as I know. And as far as I'm also aware, she was Michelle's daughter. Michelle from, like, Tekken 2. And she's actually a pretty damn good character. Uh, it's just, it's been a bit since I've played her, so... You'll have to forgive my my bad playing. But I, I remember she had, like, a really cool, like, slam move that I'm trying to... Trying to figure out again. God damn it. There we go. Nice. Very good. So, yeah, last time we did... Oh, there it is. It wasn't really a slam thing. It was more like a slight launcher. Well, basically a launcher, yes. I remember it being really good, though. I wonder if this game sh tells you the 10 hit combos. They're just neutral circle. Anywho, last time we did Hey Hachi, that was a lot of fun, and it pissed me off that I basically just had to stop, you know, recording for Hey Hachi, because I honestly love playing him. It's a lot of fun. I, I like playing Jin and, you know, Kazuya as well, of course. And even, yes, Devil to an extent, because he's basically just, well, a, another version of. Kazuya from 2, or even, um, in a lot of cases, Devil Jin. Sorry, I like, I like clicking buttons. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's just a habit of mine. You know, I'm actually, funny enough, because at one time I was playing Yoshimitsu, and I got stuck here playing Yoshimitsu for like the longest time, with a recording, of all things, funny enough. It's funny how much I've actually come to hate this map, just for the sake that I remember having PTSD from playing this level, and trying to trying to beat Yoshimitsu's thing. Also, if anybody happens to be watching this video, I wanted to do a poll, but I don't think I'm going to. Uh, I wanted to basically ask, like, you know, hey, would you guys want to see more fighting game content, or would you want to see, like, maybe a Sonic game coming up soon? And, well, obviously I think I chose the obvious here. I picked Soul Calibur for that, but I'm still kind of in the mood of doing a Sonic game. I just don't know what Sonic game to do. And the thing is, too, like, I don't really feel like doing a Let's Play. It's just more so... It'd be nice just to play a game, a Sonic game, and maybe not have one that, you know, has too many cutscenes in it and takes too long to get through. Like, Show the Hedgehog would have been fun, and I could just play that game myself. I don't have to play it with, you know, video. Of course. What the fuck? How did I get stuck? God damn it. Getting fucking launched. But anyway, so yeah, like a Sonic game would be fun. I just don't know which one I want to do. And like I said, I don't even know if I really want to record it either. That's the problem. It was a it was a concept I thought of. I was like, oh maybe. But now I'm like, I don't know. We'll see. I love that rising kick though, that's pretty nice. God damn, this bitch does a lot of damage. There we go. Nice. Funny enough, back then, I think I might have mentioned it, but Michelle always gave me Tomb Raider vibes. Like, Laura Croft vibes. That would be another interesting Let's Play in the far future, but we'll have to get to that point, of course. God damn it. But yes, his grabs are leg grabs. That wouldn't make any sense, I guess. I don't know. As in, like, input by legs both legs or whatever both kicks there you go I'm trying to like specify what specify what the hell I'm trying to say here I can't get it to come out but yeah you can tell I'm not really good at Julia but I remember having a lot of fun playing Julia because of the fact that like she has a lot of good stuff I just can't get my brain to to wrap around the idea of how to do a lot of that stuff and yes I could look at the move list but nah <laughs> I don't really care that's the funny thing. I, I've, I've gotten to that point nowadays where, especially with my Let's Play content, you've probably noticed, I don't really care too much about being super professional like I used to. Like, yeah, sure, you know, there are times where I'll still try to be a little bit more professional. You know, not whip out slurs every five seconds, but um, for the most part, you know, it's just nicer to have fun 
and not try to concentrate too hard on like explaining literally everything that I'm sure a viewer can probably no doubt tell what's going on. And the funny thing is too, like my Hardcoreian channel, which is dedicated to basically doing guides, ends up kind of being the same concept too, where I've taken a bit of, I've taken a bit of back a little bit. Oh, I wonder who the fuck this character is. I've taken a bit, you know, back to uh, going too hard with the ex over explaining everything type of shit that I tend to do a lot of the time. See, now playing this makes me want to play Street Fighter Cross Tekken, which we already did on my friend's channel. So if you want to see an arcade run of that, that's fine. Will I do an arcade run of it myself? Probably fucking not, but it's just one of those things where you just almost kind of want to do it, you know? You just feel it in your bones. You're like, hmm, maybe. Maybe not. I can't tell. Is this supposed to be Julia as well? Another game that would be fun to do a Let's Play of or a playthrough of would be Digimon World. Digimon World 1, but... Unfortunately, uh, that game's hard as fuck! That game's hard as fuck, and I never beat it. Well, I say it's hard as fuck. It's just more so like I don't know what I'm doing. To be fair. I never really learned it that well. I understand some stuff, but I've never gotten very good at it. Stop fucking ducking everything, asswipe! There we go, nice. We're gonna have to play Mokujin at one point, that's gonna be deadly. Yeah, Mokujin's gonna be a pain in the ass, I'm sure. Well, it really depends on like who I get as a character. Mainly. And I'm pretty sure you're not stuck as that character throughout the entire game. I'm pretty sure it just do the charade thing. But then again, you'll have to guess like what character you're playing, and then you have to figure out like what moves that you have, and then go from there, and goddammit, I think that was Mia. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, this is fucking Kuma. I can tell. The stance alone is just enough to give it away. Julia also, I think, returned in Tekken 7. Just looked different. She looked like an Instagram whore. <laughs> and I didn't like it. Basic, you know, vlogging Instagram whore. Oh my fucking god. Like, I can't block out of that. Like, once you're in that combo... They're basically done for. Is that Shao Yu? I don't know. I'm gonna try not guessing too much. I think it's Julia. It's, it's it's pointless to keep guessing like who's who all the goddamn time. Shit. No, I think that one might be Julia. I don't know. I see a move and I think, like, maybe. Just maybe. God damn it. I wonder who the fuck that is. <laughs> yeah, that's if that spin kick didn't give it away. I don't know what would. Yeah, there we go. Right that block. Who'd be Tekken and Tekken? Well, technically, I think pronounced Tekken. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, well. I know I like to pronounce things properly a lot of the time, but... I guess I potentially pronounced Tekken wrong all my life anyway. Which is kind of funny, too, because like, I always pronounced it Tekken. But my dad always pronounced it Taken, or... Like, ta like Taken. Tanken. Something like that. Fuck off, dude. Hey, there we go. Nice. Get past stage 7. And uh, no Kuma. Well, I mean, I had to fight Mokujin, which was eventually a Kuma, but... The fact that I didn't have to deal with fucking Kuma on stage 8 is actually a surprise. Maybe it's because uh, I'm playing all these... No, well, I think we had to fight Kuma at one point, didn't we? Did we have to fight him as Brian, maybe? I could have sworn. I don't know. Well, Whatever. I'm thinking, like, maybe it's because like, I'm playing, like, all these extra characters. Like, the unlockable ones, you know? Maybe that's why, but I don't think that might be the case. Here's the problem with King, though. He's a grappler. So I gotta watch out for grabs. I don't know why I gave up blocking low. Well, I was kind of half expecting a, a mid to come. That's why. That rising triangle hit that he does, that you can do. 
Alright, Heiachi time. Who did Heiachi fight again? On stage nine. I've already forgotten. I think it was Jin, right? I don't know. I should have been paying attention, but I, I wasn't. I can go find out. One way or another. That's gonna hurt like fuck. That one luckily hurt as well, but too bad he blocked the remaining shit. Also, for those that are curious about my Let's Play stuff, I it's kind of do it's kind of bad to do it in a video like this, but I assume that people who normally like my Let's Plays are probably watching this anyway, possibly. Uh, people that normally care about my Let's Play content, I don't think I, I I'm not gonna say Paper Mario Two is completely done yet, but I will say that I've lost all motivation to want to do it. So until that comes back, don't expect Paper Mario Two to get finished anytime soon. Like I know I was supposed to finish it for the project. That I started a long time ago, but in all fairness, I've already finished one project project on this channel before. So realistically, that's probably good enough. <laughs> in all fairness, I mainly want to do it because again, I was doing like a I had a a whole lineup of games I wanted to do in 2017, and I considered it a project at the time. And well, yeah, but Sonic Generations though, you know, I did finish that thankfully. The Sonic Generations project of, like, playing all the Sonic games that were involved. Well, all the main, you know, ones that are involved in the main console version of that game. That were, of course, games themselves. Well, that are playable stages, I mean. So, like, Sonic the Black Knight having music in Sonic Generations does not mean I'm going to play Sonic Black Knight. Sonic the Black Knight or anything like that, so. That's mainly... Yeah, of course he would. Cunt. I wish that was a lot stronger, but unfortunately it's not. Maybe it can be, I don't know. Maybe it's like Smash at a certain sweet spot. Why is it that, like, we're playing other fighting games, and recording other fighting games that aren't related, or maybe even possibly related to Tekken, but a lot of time, me and my friend, you know, we'll play like a fighting game, and I'll be like, damn it, I want to play fucking Tekken. Because, like, for me, Tekken is like the ultimate arcade game to play, arcade mode-wise. It is like the pinnacle of good arcade, uh... Good arcade game, right? And, uh... Now that I'm playing Tekken, it's like, well, fuck, I just want to play Smash. <laughs> and it's like, you're playing Tekken. Can't you just make up your fucking mind and play one of them? I also, again, just want to get back to playing Heihachi, though. Not gonna lie. But, too bad, I'm doing this playthrough. And we've already done Heihachi. So, in all fairness... I'm good to go. All right, fuck yeah. I know that, technically speaking, Ochre is a pain in the ass. And all things considered. But I feel like it's a bit easier of a pain in the ass to deal with than Heihachi and Jin. Because at least if I get past one round, because in all honesty, that's all I need. Just one fucking round on his stupid ass. If I can just do that, I can achieve victory through fighting the true Ogre. Ah, damn it. Fuck. But again, it doesn't matter. As long as you get past one round, it's all fair and fine. No! God damn it, I keep hitting buttons and getting hit and all that stuff. Whatever. Also, it has actually finally calmed down for heat now, finally. Thank God for that. Because holy shit was it hot, I think, during the lay campaign. Either I gotten used to it, or it just straight up gotten cooler out, I don't know. Which, again, it's weird as fuck, because, like, yesterday it was actually pretty goddamn cold. What does that even do? What are you even doing? <laughs> it's like it's pissing me off. Nope, that's gonna be... God, fuck, I almost had it, too. That's the fun thing, too, uh, about these types of games, is you never know when you're just gonna get that kill. You know, you never know when that comeback's going to happen. Because it could realistically happen at any point. Right there, that would have been absolutely painful. He's doing that shit on purpose. I know he is. Well, obviously, he's built to do things on purpose. But, I mean, he's doing that shit on purpose for the sake of just pissing me off. That's what I mean to say. Love the grabs. Love getting grabbed. By your corny ass. The thing is, like, True Ogre usually is a lot easier. I think it... 
I think it's relatively character dependent too, because like sometimes he just gives me so much fucking trouble with certain characters. And others, not as much. But anyway, that's Julia. So let's see what she's got going on now. I'm pretty sure Michelle's her mom, right? There she is now, so. She's at least in the game. Also, it's really weird seeing voice acting. I thought she was about to fall off that clip there for a second. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, there you go. That's Julia's campaign, and next we have, like, I think, seven more out of the bottom tier of characters here, give or take. So, I don't know who we'll do next time. I might call it a video there, or session there, because I played a lot today, to be fair. But anyway, I'm going to go save it. I know it auto-saves, but just for the comfort of my brain telling me that it's good. Uh, yeah, there you go. That's it for this. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. We'll play some more Tekken 3, and as always, take care, everybody.